Hello today and we're gonna um, do a brief tutorial on Oracutron 1.2 I think that's how you pronounce it um, so what this is this is an Oric um, emulator um, emulates the Oric one and the Oric um, Atmos um, so what we're gonna basically do is show you some brief, I'll do a brief tutorial on it, um, how to run programs. Um, so what we can see here is the basic screen. Um, you know, the main screen, um, when you switch your computer on. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna show you how to load a game. So you can have two choices. We can have a tape, you can insert your tape. So we'll do that, we we'll choose a tape. We'll choose that. Um, me not being familiar with the Auric at the time, well, still not, because I've never used one back in the day. I had to find this out. So if you want to load a tape image, you know, see, load. Push return. Oh, it's loading Tron. Okay. So that's how you load your, um, tape image so we go to reset there we go so it resets the auric so let's load a disk image um, hopefully this might just load up on its own yep I don't know what this is oh it looks like a different um, oh it's a, a demo okay alright so let's reset this I said reset. Why has it done that? We have to take out the disk image. If we do, how do you take out your disk image? Um, well I put reset, but disk. Obviously, you can't. You can't take out a disk image. So the only way you can probably do this, even if you reset it, um, is quit out of it and load it back up again bear with me so we just load up um, the auric again so I honestly don't know how you um, take the disk image out you probably can't, you probably have to reset it like I just did so this is how you load your um, game, save tape output obviously it might be to save your data, I don't know Save snapshot, load snapshot. I guess that is, um, I don't know, perhaps just to save a screen state and to load your screen state. I don't know. Copy to clipboard, copy and paste, I guess. So let's have a look at hardware options. So this is where you can choose what model of Auric you want. You can have the Auric 1, Auric 1 16K, and we're currently using the Atmos. Um, Teddy Strat, for some reason I click on that, it always crashes on some reason. And this, I don't know really what this is. So let's check on it. Well, whatever, that's probably a Russian Auric or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, so let's have a look at the hardware options. So we go to the Auric 1. And we've got, I think this is the 64K version. Um, ignore that so let's um, have a look at the Auric 116K yeah well it's only using a little bit of memory perhaps that one's if we look at that one again perhaps it ain't the 64K perhaps it's the um, there we go let's have a look at the Auric one again perhaps that's the 48K version not the 64K sorry um, I think there was a 64k Auric. That might have been um, what the might have been this one, the Teddy Strat. I don't know. Certainly wasn't the Atmos. Because that's the. F I don't know. I don't know. Perhaps it's a 38k versus 40k. I don't know what the Atmos had. Um, so that's the uh, hardware options. Let's have a look at the audio options. So sound enable, tape noise, you can have a tape noise, 
but the tape actually loads up instantaneously. Um, so video options, open glio, glio, open glide render, rendering, software rendering, full screen scan line. So that's going to make it a little bit more authentic. Um, so it looks like you was playing on an old CRT TV. I'd rather have it like that. Keyboard options, slow keyboard, sticky mod keys. Interesting. Define mapping, save mapping, load mapping, reset mapping. So you can change your key mapping. Debug options. So load sim or whatever that debugging, I don't really want to touch that. Overclocking. <laughs> so you can overclock your Auric. That's interesting. So you can have it as fast as 64 megahertz. <laughs> Currently it's on 1 megahertz. So then you've got to reset your monitor. Oh no, I didn't want to put it on monitor because you have to reset the, the what should we call it again? I don't want to do that, but I've got no choice. But basically, that's how you use the Auric emulator. It is a good emulator, and we're going to end it now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.